my clearance lights, my eight-way student lights, turn signal hazards, headlights, high and low beam are all securely mounted. They're not cracked or damaged. So they're the proper colors, red, amber, and clear. My mirror mounts and frames for my flat, convex, and crossover mirrors are securely mounted. They're not bent, cracked, or broken. And I'll inspect the lenses from inside the bus. My student crossing gate is securely mounted. It's not bent, cracked, or broken. I would now check under the bus for puddles of oil, coolant, transmission fluid, and power steering fluid that would indicate a leak. My, all my hoses and lines are securely mounted. There's no abrasions, bulges, cuts, no leaks, no loose or missing hose clamps. My belt driven alternator is securely mounted. It's not bent, cracked, or broken. Its red and black wires are securely mounted. They're not frayed or tore. Its belt is securely mounted. It's not frayed or tore, and it doesn't have no more than half inch to three quarter inch deflection. My belt driven water pump is securely mounted. It's not bent, cracked, or broken, and it's not leaking. My coolant reservoir is securely mounted. It has no cracks or holes. The cap is on tight, and it's at the proper level as indicated on the reservoir. Its hoses are securely mounted. There's no loose or missing hose clamps, no abrasions, bulges, cuts, or no leaks. My oil dipstick is secure, and it's at the proper level as indicated on the dipstick. My transmission dipstick is secure, and it's at the proper level as indicated on the dipstick. My belt-driven air compressor is securely mounted. It's not bent, cracked, or broken. It's not leaking. Its hoses are securely mounted. There are no loose or missing hose clamps. There's no abrasions, bulges, cuts, no leaks. The belt is securely mounted. It has no tears or frays, and it has no more than half inch to three quarter inch in deflection. My belt power steering pump is securely mounted. It's not bent, cracked, or broken, or leaking. My power steering reservoir is securely mounted. It's at the proper level as indicated on the reservoir. The cap is on tight. There's no cracks or holes and it's not leaking. The hoses are securely mounted. There are no loose or missing hose clamps. There are no abrasions, bulges, cuts, or leaks. My steering gearbox is securely mounted. It's not bent, cracked, or broken. The hose is securely mounted. It has no loose or missing hose clamps. There are no abrasions, bulges, cuts, no leaks. My steering linkage, which consists of the pitman arm, the tie rod, the drag link, and the knuckles is securely mounted. It's not bent, cracked, or broken. It is secure with cotter pins and castle nuts, and it is well greased. My spring mounts are securely mounted front and back. They're not bent, cracked, or broken. My leaf springs are securely mounted to my spring mounts and to the axle with U-bolts. They're not bent, cracked, or broken. They're not shifted, and they're in alignment. My shock absorber is securely mounted top and bottom. It's not bent, cracked, or broken, or leaking. My air hose is securely mounted. It has no loose or missing hose clamps, and there are no abrasions, bulges, cuts, or leaks. My brake chamber is securely mounted. It's not bent, cracked, or broken, and it has a C-clamp. My slack adjuster and push rod is securely mounted with clevis and cotter pin. It's not bent, cracked, or broken, and it doesn't move more than one inch when the brake is released. Drums and linings are securely mounted. They're not bent, cracked, or broken. There are no chips, and they're not worn dangerously thin. My inner and outer hub seal are securely mounted. It's not bent, cracked, or broken, and it's not leaking. My lug nuts are securely mounted. There are no shiny threads or rust trails that would indicate a loose or missing lug nut. My rim is securely mounted. It's not bent, cracked, or broken, and there are no illegal welds. My tire is securely mounted. It's properly inflated to the number indicated on the sidewall. The treads are worn evenly. The tread depth is no less than 430 seconds. Retreads are not allowed on front tires. My mud flap is securely mounted. It's not torn or worn or dragging the ground.
My clip lights, my turn signal hazard, and reflectors are all securely mounted. There are no cracks or holes in their proper color, amber in the front and middle, and red in the rear. My driver's window and student windows are all securely mounted. There's no cracks or holes. The emergency exit window is properly called, properly marked emergency exit with yellow reflective tape all the way around. My stop arm is securely mounted. It's not bent, cracked, or broken. It's the proper reflective red with the word stop and the proper white reflective lettering. The lights have no cracks or holes and they're the proper color red. My storage compartments are securely mounted. They're not bent, cracked, or broken, and they have a good working latch and hinge. <clears throat> My drive shaft is securely mounted, front and back. It's not bent, cracked, or broken. It has a safety strap and no debris wrapped around it. My exhaust is securely mounted front and back. It's not bent, cracked, or broken, and there's no holes. My frame is securely mounted. It's not bent, cracked, or broken, and there are no legal welds. My torque rod is securely mounted to the frame and to the axle, and it's not bent, cracked, or broken. My airbag is securely mounted, and it's properly inflated, and there are no abrasions, bulges, cuts, no leaks. My spring mounts are securely mounted front and back. They are not bent, cracked, or broken. My leaf springs are securely mounted to my spring mounts and to the axle with U-bolts. They're not bent, cracked, or broken. They're not shifted, and they're in alignment. My shock absorber is securely mounted top and bottom. It's not bent, cracked, or broken, and not <laughs> leaking. My air hose is not is securely mounted. It's not. It doesn't have any abrasions, bulges, cuts, no leaks, and it doesn't have any loose or missing hose clamps. My brake chamber is securely mounted with a C-clamp, and it's not bent, cracked, or broken, or leaking. My slack adjuster and push rod is securely mounted with a clevis and cotter pin. It's not bent, cracked, or broken, and it doesn't move more than one inch when the brake is released. My drums and linings are securely mounted. They're not bent, cracked, or broken. There's no chips, and they're not worn dangerously thin. My inner and outer hub seal is securely mounted. It's not bent, cracked, or broken, and it's not leaking. My lug nuts are securely mounted. There is no shiny threads or rust trails that would indicate a loose or missing lug nut. My rim is securely mounted. It's not bent, cracked, or broken, and no illegal welds. My tires are securely mounted. They're properly inflated to the number on the sidewall. The duals are evenly spaced. There are no debris in between. The treads are evenly worn, and it's no less than 2 32nd tread depth on the rear tire. We can use retreads. The mud flap is securely mounted. It's not torn or worn or dragging the ground. My sto strobe light, clearance lights, eight-way student lights, turn signal and hazard, brake tail lights, backup lights, and license plate lights and reflectors are all securely mounted. There's no cracks or no holes and they're the proper color, red, amber, and clear. My door is properly marked emergency exit, or emergency door, excuse me, with proper reflective tape all the way around. It's not bent, cracked, or broken. The glass has no holes or cracks. It has a good working latch and hinge. The floor mat is securely mounted. It's not, it's securely mounted. There are no abrasions, bulges, cuts. The exhaust pipe is securely mounted and it extends past the bumper. My fuel door is securely mounted with a good latch and hinge. My fuel cap is on tight and not leaking. The fuel tank and safety cage are securely mounted. They're not bent, cracked, or broken, and there's no leaks. The fuel lines are securely mounted. There are no loose or missing hose clamps. There are no abrasions, bulges, cuts, or leaks. The student entrance door is securely mounted, has a good handle and good hinge. It's not bent, cracked, or broken. The glass is not has no cracks or holes or no obstructions. The stair mat is securely mounted. There are no abrasions, bulges, or cuts. The handrail is securely mounted. It's not bent, cracked, or broken. And the step light is securely mounted. It's the proper, proper, proper color of clear, and there are no cracks or holes.
My body fluid cleanup, cleanup kit and my first aid kit are securely mounted and fully stocked. My 10 pound AVC fire extinguisher is securely mounted. It's properly charged and pin is in place. My red box is securely mounted and it contains three red reflective triangles. I'll now turn my key on to activate my emergency exit alarms. The white stand behind line is securely mounted with a metal strip. The seat frames are securely mounted. They're not bent, cracked, or broken. The seats, bottoms, and backs are securely mounted to the seat frames. They're not worn or torn. I have two emergency exit ha roof hatches. They're clearly labeled emergency exit. They have a proper seal. If I turn the handle to the right and push up, the hatch opens and the alarm sounds. I have six emergency exit windows, all properly marked emergency exit above the window as well as on the window. And when I lift up the handle and push out, the alarm sounds. Go ahead. My emergency door is properly labeled emergency door above the door as well as on the door. And when I lift the handle and push up, the alarm sounds. The seatbelt is securely mounted to the bus. The latch is a good working latch. It's not torn or frayed. I'll now safe start my bus. I'm waiting for all my diagnostic lights to come on, including the ABS. All my diagnostic lights have went off, including my ABS. My crossover mirrors, flat mirrors, convex mirror, and student rear view mirror are all securely mounted. They're properly cleaned and properly adjusted. There's no damage. My windshield is securely mounted. It has a good seal. There are no illegal stickers and no cracks or holes. My driver, my heated mirror works. My step, my driver heated defrost works. My right and left hand work in the low, high, and off position. <clears throat> my gauges are working properly. My water temperature gauge is at the proper level between 170 and 210. My oil is at the proper operating level of 40 PSI. My volts is at the proper operating level of between 12 and 14. And my air tanks are at the proper operating level of between 120 and 140 PSI. I will now check my lights. My headlights work in the parking and on position. My hazard lights work as indicated on the dash. My right, left, and high beams work as indicated on the dash. My eight-way student amber lights work as indicated on the dash. And when I open my door, my stop arm extends and my red eight-way student lights work as indicated on the dash. My windshield wipers are securely mounted to the bus. My blades are securely mounted to the wiper arms and they lay flat against the windshield. They're not torn or frayed and they work in the intermediate the low and the high positions and when the lever is depressed fluid disperses. I will now test that my parking brake holds in gear. My parking brake held in gear. I would now ask the tester if he would like me to pull forward at three to five mile per hour, at which time I would apply the service brake to check to see if the bus would pull to the right or left, and then he'll tell me if he wants, to perform, wants me to perform this test. This concludes my pre-trip inspection. I need to um, disable my no child left behind in order to continue to my air brake. I would now perform my air brake inspection.
<clears throat> I'll start my air brake test at 90 PSI. I will pump the brake down to approximately 90 PSI, at which time I will rebuild pressure to between 120 and 140 PSI, at which time the air governor should release. <laughs> released at 122 PSI. I will now turn my bus off, release the brake, and hold my service brake for one minute to ensure that I lose no more than 3 PSI. I did not lose more than 3 PSI in one minute. I will now pump my brakes down to approximately 60 PSI, at which time my low air light and warning indicators should come on. My low air light and warning sound came on at 62 PSI. I would now pump my air brakes down to approximately 40 PSI, at which time my parking brakes should set. My parking brakes set at 32 PSI. This concludes my air brake test. I would now perform my box student unload. I would turn on my amber flashing lights approximately 200 feet before the stop. I would start slowing down and stop 10 feet prior to my stop. two students. I'll hold my students back and make sure the traffic is stopped in all directions. I will let my student that's crossing the street off. He will come to the end of my crossing gate. I will hold him there and check that traffic has stopped in all directions. Then I will move him to the left side of my bus and hold him there. The student and I will check the traffic has stopped in all directions. Then I will have him proceed on to his safe zone. My student that's getting off the bus on the same side of the bus, I will have him get off of the bus and go to his safe zone. I will then check my mirrors to make sure that no students have returned to the bus and then proceed on to my next stop.